Yo, what up guys? CrabApple7 here. Welcome to day 6 of my 3 years on YouTube celebration week. Yesterday we had LEGO Pokemon episode 15, and today, well, I decided to make a little behind the scenes video to show you how some of my productions are made. Equipment and software. So all of my videos are made using pretty much just my iPad Pro. I film and edit all of my videos using iMovie, and I use Adobe Illustrator to make all the thumbnails as well as a couple of other images seen in videos, such as the red tint on this shot of Rick in Total Drama LEGO Episode 3, or these dot-eyed Pokemon from Wednesday's video. As for how I get sound effects and music into the video that can't be found using iMovie, this is going to sound really unprofessional, but I play it off of my phone into iMovie's audio recorder. Where I film. I'm not proud of it, but I film on the floor in my basement. So over here is the pool table turned Lego table where I used to film all of my videos. So this was over there originally, like in that area. That's where the first six episodes of Lego Pokemon were filmed. But then the basement got rearranged and this was moved over here. This episodes seven and eight were filmed here and then I just moved over there behind all the exercise equipment you can see it that's where I film to this day yeah I know my basement is a pigsty don't rub it in I'm a slob how I make certain things happen so here we have the ending set for total drama Lego episode 3 how I film these eliminations is that I turn off all of the lights except for one which is that one over there. It's behind the support beam, so you won't be able to see it. But this way, it's still dark, but I still have a little bit of light for filming. Another thing related to Total Drama LEGO, the cars in Episode 3. Filming with those was no easy task, let me tell ya. Take this shot, for example, where the car is moving and then comes to a stop. Notice how the back end isn't completely visible. And then there's also this shot, where the car is at rest and then starts moving. Notice how now the front end is off camera. That's because my hand is pulling and pushing the car. There were also some shots that were impossible to not get my hand in, so in the finished product they were zoomed in just to hide my finger. That's also the method I use for getting the boat to pull away at eliminations. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and tomorrow we've got that special surprise video that I hyped up at the beginning of the week. I am Crabapple7, signing off.